subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon to get new notification video Hey, welcome guys this is Praveen from Automation Studio and in this video we are going to see how to manage your capability. So whenever you are writing the code for the iOS or for the Android then you have to define your capabilities right for your device or for your simulator or your, your AVD whatever the device type you have okay. So for that you need to define your capabilities and then you need to pass into your uh, driver right based on that the driver will communicate with your device or instrument okay and based on that it will uh, run the test cases uh, on that particular device or AVD or simulator or emulator right <clears throat> so uh, we have seen in our last videos like we are storing all the capabilities uh, in a java file so uh, which is very clumsy actually to modify it suppose your device you are changing then uh, you have to again and again you have to edit your java files which is not a good practice so how to deal with that so within this video what we are going to do we are going to store these all details within a file okay whatever the file format will be okay whether it is property file whether it is text file whatever the file type it is and then from the file uh, uh, user will you know uh, edit it and uh, user can uh, add its desired uh, capabilities into that file and uh, we will read that file uh, from the java code okay so what i'm going to do here first i'm going to create one uh, folder okay so we are dealing with capabilities so obviously i'm going to say cap apps okay so within this cap apps i'm going to create one file okay so i'm going to uh, create one simple file let's say um, ios.txt so whatever the <clears throat> capabilities i have mentioned over here uh, like automation name is equal to xuid platform platform name ios device name iphone x udid this one app this one like that okay so these all five things i'm going to define over there okay so what i will do that so i have already prepared so just i will copy paste and i will show you how to do that okay yeah so you have to take care about the name specific okay why because we are going to read line by line and uh, after that we are going to say split it with the equal to sign and this will be the key and this will be the value this will be the key this will be the value so these these first value will be your key so make sure uh, this should be correct if you remember in our last video when we have inspect our ios elements using apm desktop tool then there we have to define our capability before uh, you know launching the application into our device in order to inspect so there exact whatever the capability key we should use the exact name we have to use here okay but in this case everything is coming from the you know interface so uh, it will provide you this name automatically but even though you can say here like that automation name right automation name okay so like that also it will work okay so so this particular code i am going to use here okay so let me uh, show you this thing so that there will be no you know question about that platform name right so i should say platform sorry platform name okay then what is the device name right so i should use device name okay this is the key for that okay and then here i do have udid right so i will say udid okay then i do have app so i should say app okay, okay guys so a small correction here like i have already told you uh, while defining these things these uh, capabilities to a text file or a file uh, so make sure the key should be right right so here udid is not capital it's small so it cause it could cause a problem okay so make sure whatever the keys you will mention here should be exact and there are 
case sensitive as well okay so here i should use ud id as a small okay I run this test case okay so right click on that and so you note this on test case so right click on that and run okay so i'm just testing like if i pass here like key and value and key and value then it should run or not okay so yeah it is running fine okay let's see so it's running fine now okay so i am not going to waste any more time here so what i'm going to do so i have just collected all these capability within the file itself okay key value key value key value key value key value so i do have the five capabilities here okay now i'm going what what i'm going to do here i'm going to create one reader class okay so which will read this data okay so i will say com dot uh studio dot uh, utilities so utils okay what kind of see it's completed so <clears throat> yeah i'm i'm i was creating a class so i should say some meaningful name so capabs reader okay so capability reader right so yeah so i should say here public and capabs reader is a constructor for that okay and um, what i will do i will desired capability so i will create a method which will return you a desired capability okay so get capabilities okay like that you can create here okay just create an instance of desired capabilities okay says cap apps equal to new desired capabilities okay like that okay and here return the cap apps okay in between what we are doing like we will add the stuff how to do that okay so what i'm going to do i do have already one code which will you know read the data line by line okay so it's a very simple code like you can google on how to read the data line by line in java so it will give you this code okay so this is my file reader just import whatever the necessary importing it all comes from the java make sure this file name should be ios and whatever it you feel you can just say that okay so i have a buffer reader buffer reader object i have created i will locate it my file where is my file okay so i should mention like this okay so this is the path of my full path of my file okay then i am uh, reading it line by line okay now while reading it line by line then uh, let me first uh, run it okay so public static void main okay and then a string argument and what is this okay so i will say cap equal to new okay like this and cap dot get capabilities okay so just right right click and run okay so it's printing one by one right line by line so now here it is printing see so this form this print statement is coming in right so from here i what i'm going to do i'm going to create one array string okay what it will do it will say cap equal to it will split the name string with equal to sign okay what does it means okay so let's let's see the console see here is equal to right so this is my key and this is my value so what i'm going to do here if you will observe the base class i am have used cap apps set capability right and then key and value got it same thing i'm going to apply here so let's see and uh, what should i do capability and value right so cap zero will be my key and cap one be one will be my value that's it and it will return the capabilities 
simple as that okay so this i am going to use here okay so i am going to you know just comment it and i'm going to use this one like that okay so just add the code and use this code this piece of sign like it will give you the desire capability right and here also you need a desire capability okay so just add it correct so it will give you a desire capability correct so now this code should work Okay, remove the unnecessary import and right click and say run as test. Okay. So see the test case is going to execute now. So application is going to install in the device now. Okay. So it's launched. Cool. Okay. Now it is running. So it's very interesting. Like we are providing our capabilities from a file and it is going through a java code and then uh, that driver is initializing uh, whatever the capabilities we have given through the file so that is very good previously what was, what was the problem statement was like all the capability was enclosed within a java class and java modification of the java class is not good okay if you have to modify your java class again and again see the execution is done okay so if you have to modify your java class again and again then it it's not come into the best practices okay so you have to somehow you have to manage your these things in such a way so that the modification or configuration will be very easy to maintain okay. uh, this is the way how you can use it uh, you can uh, store in the form of a property file also in the form of property file this will become your key and this will become your value okay so you can create one ios.property file also and uh, there are many property file reader java code is available in the on the google so you can use that and you can just pass the property and get the value okay but i found like this is the further easy way like just write, uh, read the data line by line and this is split with the equal to and then uh, just set it with the key and value okay whatever the way you feel comfortable with that you can use it okay i found this way is very easy that's why i'm using it okay okay guys so uh, within this video uh, my motive was like i i will make aware you so that how can you uh, deal with the capabilities while defining and while designing your scripts okay in a very efficient and easy way so i hope this video will be helpful for you guys and uh, do comment uh, of your views what you are thinking and uh, do share with your friends and uh, stay tuned and please subscribe so thank you guys see you soon